Well, we know this cold snap has been a nightmare for local drivers. AAA Mid-Atlantic says it has received a record number of calls for crashes and broken down cars. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell rode along with a AAA tow dr uh, truck driver. Brad's uh, live with what he's seen so far. Brad? Yeah, Maureen, you know what? This weather is tough on us. It's tough on our cars. They say there's a few things you should do to prepare your vehicle when you have a forecast like we do now for some more snow. One of the most important, check the tire pressure. Make sure that's just right. Check your wipers, your fluids, all the fluids in the car. But if your battery is ready to go bad, when it gets this cold, it's likely to go bad, and it's, they're going bad in big numbers all across the area. Like a lot of people this morning, Ron Gallant got an unhappy surprise when he went to start his car. He couldn't. I uh, heard it's struggling, so I said, all right, well, that's not going to work. So Gallant did what thousands are doing. He called AAA. At the AAA fleet garage in Landover, dispatcher Joshua Lighty's phone is ringing like crazy. His computer lit up with calls. It's extremely busy. This is the busiest we've been this week. If you look in here, they, we have different codes. Like a, one is a you know tire change, 3B is a battery service, and if you can see, every one of these calls is a 3B requesting battery service. And so battery service truck operator Pierre Capel gets the word to load up and head out. This week. AAA Mid-Atlantic has responded to 50,000 calls. This Landover office today will do well over 200. After he rolls up to Capel's car, Gallant begins his diagnostics and gives the car a jump. There's no real mystery here. The battery has been killed by the cold. That's pretty much everybody's got dead batteries. And why does that happen? Because when it's this cold, it takes about 50% more ampage to, to start the battery. When it gets this cold, the batteries just can't handle it. So Ron Gallant gets a new battery. Yeah, I mean, but I'm lucky I was at home. Pierre Capel is not so lucky. He has a long list of people waiting for him to come to the rescue. Yes, all night. Uh, all the way up to 10 o'clock. All the way till 10 o'clock. We were with him just a little while ago. This was the location of his last call. He took off to went to go and help somebody else. Now, the bad news for consumers is right now they've got three and four hour waits for AAA help. In College Park, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.